In the last video, we discussed how to configure a Blue Prism runtime resource to start automatically whenever we log into the system. But that alone is not going to be helpful if we have to log into every computer after a system restart or unlock the computers whenever they get locked due to an idle timeout. In order to overcome this challenge, Blue Prism is providing a software called Login Agent which can be installed on a Windows computer. It could be a laptop, desktop or even a virtual machine. The Login Agent allows us to log into Windows or unlock the desktop without requiring someone to enter the username and password. So let's see how to install, configure and use Login Agent. There are different versions of Login Agent depending on the version of Blue Prism installed on your computer. You can download Login Agent by going to portal.blueprism.com, navigate to Products and click Releases. Then go to the Add-ons tab and you should see four versions of Login Agent here. Versions 1.3.0 and 1.4.0 are very old and you can ignore them. If your Blue Prism version is between 4.1.25 and 5.0.21, then you need to download Login Agent version 2.0.0 and if your Blue Prism version is 5.0.23 you need to download Login Agent 5.0.23. For all Blue Prism versions from 5.0.24 and above you don't have to download Login Agent as it comes along with the Blue Prism setup. I have Blue Prism 5.0.32 so I don't have to download Login Agent. Instead I will go to C Drive Program Files, Blue Prism Limited, Blue Prism Automate and if I go to the Installers folder we can see the Login Agent setup file here. So I will go ahead and double click the setup file, click Next. For the connection name enter the name exactly as you have configured in Blue Prism which you can find by going to File, Connections and you can see it under the Saved Connections. So I will enter it here and I'll click next. Leave it as everyone and click next. Next. And the installation will begin. Alright, the installation is completed. Uh, click close. And I will go to services.msc. And we will ensure that the Blue Prism login agent service is set to automatic and started. Next we need to configure some of the security policies in order for login agent to work properly. So we will click start and type local security policy and hit enter. Now here expand local policies and click security options and we will find this policy called interactive logon do not require control alt delete and we will ensure it is set to enabled. So we are basically making sure that the control alt delete screen doesn't come and instead it will directly display the username and password screen because login agent can only enter the credentials and login but it cannot send control alt delete command. Next we need to disable any kind of message that gets displayed while you log in. You might have seen a legal disclaimer or an IT security policy getting displayed at the login screen just before the username and password screen on your office computers. We cannot have that message displayed if we are using login agent. So we can disable that by ensuring these two policies are blank which are message text for users attempting to log on and message title for users attempting to log on. If you are using Windows 8.1 or Windows 10 then you need to enable the policy called do not display the lock screen which will be under administrative templates, control panel, uh, personalization. Usually in an enterprise environment, these policies are not set on each computer. Rather, they are pushed through group policies. So it will be taken care of by your Windows administrators. But it's a good to know information. Alright, so once all these policies are set, restart your computer. I'm not going to restart my computer because my policies were already set as required and I didn't make any change. So I will close the local security policy and I will go ahead and log into Blue Prism. Now we need to configure our process to use Login Agent for logging into Windows. When we ran the installation file of Login Agent, it not only installed the Login Agent software but it also provided us a process and a business object that we can use. So let's go ahead and import that by clicking File, Import and navigate to the Blue Prism Limited folder. 
and you will see a new folder called Blue Prism Login Agent here. Just open that and you should see a file called loginagentrelease.bp release. This is basically a Blue Prism release file. A release file is nothing but a package or a consolidated file that contains business objects, processes, queues, environment variables, etc. For many of our previous videos, I was sharing the process and object as two separate files. But you can actually package both these files into one release file and whenever we import this release file, all the processes, objects, queues, environment variables, etc. will be imported. We will discuss about the BP release file more in our release management video. For now, we will select this and click open. Click next. And you will get to this page where it asks if you want to publish these four processes. So basically, they are change password, check logged in, login, and logout. And all these four processes were published before the release file was created. So when we import a published process into our database, Blue Prism will again confirm with us if indeed we want to publish this process in our current database. We'll just leave them yes for now and click next and finish. Now if we go to the studio, we can see four processes for login agent and an object called login agent. Also if we go to the control room, we can see that the processes are published. Now you can see both Win7BP Prod1 and Win7BP Prod2 are showing connected. Let's log off Win7BP Prod2 and see what happens. So we will switch to Win7BP Prod2 and as you might have guessed, I have already launched the runtime resource in this machine, which is why it is showing connected on the control room, though I haven't launched the Blue Prism Interactive client. All right, so I will log off. And if I go back to the control room on Win7BP Prod1, you can see that Win7BP Prod2 shows offline. Now let's go back to Win7BP Prod2 again and install Login Agent and see what happens. I have already set the local security policies as per the requirements, so I will directly install Login Agent. All right, the installation is complete and I will go to services.msc. And we will ensure the Blue Prism login agent service is set to automatic and started. Now if I log off this machine and go to Win7BP Prod1, You can see it got connected even though the machine is logged off. You can also see that the icon is slightly different. Instead of the plain blue icon, it now shows a key symbol which means it is logged off and it is using login agent. So what really happened behind the scenes is when we installed login agent and started the login agent service, it initiated another runtime resource called the login agent runtime resource which will also communicate with the Blue Prism server using the same connection details that the main runtime resource communicates. That's the reason why we entered the connection details while installing login agent. Now if I drag and drop this login process onto Win7BB Prod2, it should automatically log into that computer. But we first need to configure the credentials with which it can log in. So we will go to the System tab, Credentials, and we will create a new credential. The credential name should be in a specific format which is Windows Login colon and put a space and the computer name which is win7bp prod2. Then type the username here and only the username. Do not type the domain name even though if it is an AD account. Then enter the password. Then in the access rights I will go ahead and give access to all the processes, resources and roles. And click OK. Alright so we are ready to run the login process. I will go back to the control tab and simply drag and drop the login process onto Win7BP Prod2. Then I will select the session, click Start, and it will ask to enter the startup parameters. If you're using a local account, select True here, and if you're using a domain account, select False. And if you select False, which means a domain account, you need to enter the domain name here. 
So that's the reason why I said do not specify the domain name in the username field. So I will select true as I'm going to log in with the local account. Then click save to save the startup parameters. And then I will select the session again and click start and start again. Now if I immediately switch to Win7BP Pro 2, you can see that the machine is logging in. Alright, so that is how basically the login agent works. In the next video, we will see how to incorporate login agent in an actual process so that first the login or unlock event happens before proceeding to the actual process. Thank you for watching and we will see in the next video.